Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to demonstrate deltoid massage techniques in child's pose. Getting your client into a position that creates the best access to the area that you want to work on is very important. Be smart when doing massage. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when I post a video. Definitely leave feedback in a comment below if you want to, and please watch the whole video to receive the most benefits. I hope you enjoy this video. Do that, like in this position, because this is the best. This is the ultimate position for working on the deltoid. Get your fingers in the armpit like this and use your thumbs to drag. This gives you a lot of leverage. A little too much oil, just a little too much, so I'm going to take some and get rid of it. I was just telling Amanda how important it is to get just the right amount of oil. I'm going to take my forearm and do this action around the scapula. You'll notice that I'm supporting everything here with my other hand. Don't be afraid to get your clients into a, a, a different or unusual position because that's where it really gets it. That's where you can really get stuff done better. And also, try and move around, alternate. Alternate strokes and alternate places on their bodies where you're working this will get sore, this will get tired, and it'll get irritable, and it'll be like, she'll be like, oh my god, oh, oh, and she'll get uncomfortable, and so that's why it's so important to, you know, give this one a break, and even make nice a little bit, you know, like, make nice, and go over here, get some of that stuff out. what we want. <laughs> no pain, no gain. You feel that? The deltoid has like different bands. Different different bands of muscle and that inside one on yours is really tight. Okay. 
Okay, let's change sides. So it's also really important to work on the teres muscles under here. So we're going to do that. That also is really great to, to work on by holding, <clears throat> holding your hands and cradling the whole shoulder area. And the tighter you get into it like this, the more torque you've got to be able to really work on it without injuring yourself. shoulders are going to be ready to rock and roll. Good. <laughs>